Meanwhile, Sri Lanka now has its first saint. Pope Francis officiated at the canonization of Blessed Joseph Vaz at a Colombo ocean front. Hundreds of thousands of Sri Lankans attended the ceremony. This report. In a predominantly Buddhist country, how does the leader of the worldwide Catholic Church transcend religious divisions? Pope Francis celebrated Mass in the Sri Lankan capital as he called on its citizens to overcome religious differences, following the example of St. Joseph Vaz. Pope Francis gave Sri Lanka its first seat as he canonized Joseph Vaz, a 17th century missionary credited for re-establishing the Catholic Church on the island. As Joseph Vaz made no distinction of race and religion, the Pope deemed religious freedom as a fundamental human right. St. Joseph showed us the importance of transcending religious divisions in the service of peace. Religious freedom is a fundamental human right. Each individual must be free, alone, or in association with others to seek the truth and to openly express his or her religious conviction, free from intimidation and external compassion. The People's Pope also asked Sri Lankans to replace discrimination and hatred with respect for dignity and the sacredness of life. As the life of St. Joseph Vaz teaches us, genuine fortune of God bears fruit not in discrimination, hatred and violence, but in respect for the sacredness of life, respect for the dignity and freedom of order, and loving commitment to the welfare of all. Only 7% of Sri Lanka's population are Christians, mostly Catholic. About 70% are Buddhist. The last papal visit took place 20 years ago when the late Pope John Paul II was boycotted by Buddhist leaders. After his arrival to the country yesterday, Pope Francis met with Buddhists, Hindu, and Muslim representations to call for reconciliation. The Pope's visit in Sri Lanka also comes at a significant time, as Maithripala Sirisena took office as president last week, replacing Mahinda Rahapaksa. Pope Francis is set to visit the chapel of the Benedict XVI Cultural Institute before his departure from Colombo to Manila. For the People's Television, this is Ara Perez.